Uh, this is Leonard Lee, Executive Analyst at Next Curve, with uh, my partner here. Matt Hatton, founding partner of Transformer Insights. Yeah, not trying to make you feel bad, Jim, but we are in a partnership, right? And so we're really excited to be here at MWC Las Vegas 2023. And, uh, you know, we're going to be covering this. We have a joint agenda, so if you don't know what it is, you know, check out our LinkedIn post. Uh, but we're going to be uh, covering a lot of stuff. Um, eSIM yep. actually is a pretty big thing. Uh, Non-terrestrial, we're trying to figure out what is the state of Open RAN. I think that's something that all of you guys want to know about. What else? Well, for me today, mostly actually it's been about non-terrestrial networks. I was uh, chairing a, a little session on, on exactly that topic, the sort of combination of cellular with, with satellite uh -huh. and how that opens up some really interesting opportunities. Sure. So I'm yeah. being a quite keen advocate of that. Because yeah. it's not just about, okay, we all know some satellite use cases, shipping or maybe container yeah. tracking, but there's a whole load of cellular use cases that will kind of benefit from having a bit of backup. Okay, in yeah. that in that ten percent of cases where there's not cellular connectivity, or I say ten percent, it could be could be anything, could be one percent, could be ninety nine percent. But you know, in, in a in a proportion of cases where you've got no cellular connectivity, and you've got some uh, opportunity to see the sky, then maybe you've got some sky. some uh, yeah. some satellite opportunity. And, yeah. and I think it's a really really interesting one, the, the whole uh, non terrestrial networks, really yeah. seventeen and, and and further ones. Right. Big opportunity. That's, so that's mostly what I've been talking to people about today, if I'm perfect. Really? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. that's interesting. For me, it's all been about private wireless, uh, you know, 5G. And I was on a panel uh, hosted by um, Intel, as well as the uh, out, uh, the Besson Group. And that was pretty interesting. A uh, lot of attention there, but uh, and a lot of excitement, but also a lot of realities that are being covered as enterprises are working with different partners to POC, um, POC these, you know, 5G wireless uh, solutions for their businesses. And so I think there's, there, everyone's kind of on a learning curve, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, you know, there's, a, there's actually quite a, a bit of sobering uh, findings that are coming out of some of these POCs. So, yeah, I think um, you know, my impression is 5G, 5G private uh, networks have a way to go. It's early days, but uh, uh, a lot of investment going on at the moment. You it, know, it, it always seems to me like that's a market that's screaming out for sort of specialists focused on particular yeah. uh, verticals: healthcare, utilities, yeah. manufacturing, rather than it being a horizontal. Well, we'll come in and install yeah. a network, but we don't really care what vertical it's being used for. That seems to it seems to be the obvious thing. To it's like those were my talking points. Hey, I stole, yeah. I stole all your talking you, points. You did and not and, for the first so time. Today. Yeah, no, not not the first time. Exactly. Yeah, Mike Fitz. You know, I blame you. <laughs> hey, I, should, I, should I had like nothing to say on stage. It was ridiculous. I should clarify. It wasn't me who stole your talking points, yeah, right? It was, that, yeah, uh, it was somebody go. else on your yeah. on your panel. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. So we had that, and uh, um, you know, the keynote was pretty interesting. Uh, thankfully, there wasn't a lot of mention of Earth computing. Uh, I thought it was a little bit more grounded than before. Okay. And uh, you know, um, and, and some of the other things that we're going to be uh, looking at is uh, also. 5G monetization. I haven't seen a lot of talk about that. Uh, I don't no, know if you a, have. A lot of a lot of vertical related stuff. So back to yeah. the private wireless stuff. A lot about verticals and how everybody kind of has to recognise that if they're selling into verticals, they've got to talk the language of the verticals yeah. rather than it being about yeah. uh, here's a product, chuck the product yeah. over the fence yeah. and hope the hope the customer can use it. Yeah. Another topic that's come up a couple of times is around this idea of bifurcation of IoT. Right, I've mostly been talking about yeah. IoT, but you've, you've right. kind of got separately. You've got low power, <laughs> low cost, low touch devices, the yeah. kind of sensors. And at the other end of the spectrum, you've got this high end, high data rate 5G stuff. And almost you, you're addressing those in different ways, yeah. depending on who the um, who the customer is and, and even different service providers, different operating models. Yeah. It's it's pretty interesting to watch, really. Yeah, yeah. And Matt, you're really good at this. Thank you, sir. We have a guest over here. You want to you wanna jump in? So this is Brad, my colleague. Yeah. There's Brad. Say hi, Brad. He's acting like he's a stranger. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. How was your day? That was good. You're gonna have to talk loud, and you're gonna have to talk into his lapel. <laughs> it was it was fantastic. Uh, a lot of great vendors, a lot of great 
conversations with people looking for technology, connectivity options, uh, new technology capabilities. Talk to somebody who's claiming that they've got a uh, kind of new approach to radio, broadly speaking. So I'd say so far a winner. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, um, so we have like three more days left and there should be a lot more exciting insights and perspectives that we mine out of this event. And so please make sure to follow us. And uh, we're all over LinkedIn. Follow Matt, follow Brad, follow me. And uh, you want to share where they can contact you? Uh, you want to check me out on Twitter, I would say, at Matty Hatton, or I'm on LinkedIn, Matt Hatton, I think, on LinkedIn, but you can find us at transformerinsights.com as well. Okay, and Brad? Uh, best at LinkedIn, so uh, Dr. Dr. Bradley Canham at yeah. LinkedIn, and uh, of course, Transformer Insights. Yes. So. He's a doctor. And of course, me, uh, Leonard Lee at... Uh, www.next-curve and leonard.lee at uh, next-curve.com and so uh, again follow us on LinkedIn and we will have a uh, podcast that we'll be doing next week to recap all of our key uh, takes as well as uh, the highlights that we uh, gleaned from the show so we'll make, make, make sure you don't tell me in advance what you're going to talk about otherwise I I'll steal it and I know you won't have anything to talk it, about so. it'll be carnage yeah it'll be yeah. carnage all right take care Looking forward to it.